Hey guys, we're cool here. I'm gonna give you a video here real quick. This is gonna be a short and sweet one. Um, we got some action going on with these uh, sunspots uh, again. Um, mainly 2740, which would be the first one, uh, and we'll go into that here in a minute. But I want to explain to you guys the difference between a coronal mass ejection and a solar flare because it's important to know that when we're when we're uh, looking at these tools um, because they are two different things. I know that sometimes even myself use it uh, like a CME um, term as like a blanket term just so we don't have to explain the difference. But for this conversation, we need to go ahead and explain this. Um, I've done this before, but I think I can do a better job than what I did before. Um, anyway, this right here is a definition of a CME. Um, it's straight from Wikipedia and it actually describes it fairly well. Um, it says a coronal mass ejection is a significant release of plasma. Now that's that's key. Okay, remember that. And accompanying mag magnetic field from the solar corona. Okay, that means it's plasma coming from the sun. So that's basically what a coronal mass ejection is. It says they often follow solar flares. And are normally present during a solar prominence eruption. Um, so yeah. Which is basically what we're seeing right now. Um, the plasma is released into the solar wind and can be ob observed in the coronagraph imagery. Which would be core 2, core 3, core 1. Any of those with the core. Um, that stands for coronagraph basically. Now that's that's a CME, okay? It's actual plasma being ejected and ejected at such a, a velocity and strength that it escapes the gravity of the sun. Okay, so that that's a CME. Um, they do move slower than a solar flare, which I'll explain here in a minute. So. <coughs> So, like I said, that's a, that's a CME, and these are pictures of CMEs. Um, these are easy to find. You can Google it, and you'll see a whole bunch. Now, just look at that, okay? Now, that's what a CME looks like. Now, these are pretty sizable, okay, granted, but I want to give you guys a good idea of what an actual CME looks like, and even though we've showed it before, but here you go. There it is. Now, a solar flare. It's a brief eruption of intense high energy radiation from the sun's surface. Okay, it's not plasma, it's the radiation. It, and it says right here, it says associated with sunspots and, and causing electromagnetic disturbances on Earth. Our magnetopause, magnetosphere, is directly affected and causing disturbances from these solar flares. It says, as with radio frequency communications and power line transmissions, those are the po possible things it could affect. And it's going to affect it very, very quickly. Um, like the one that just the other day from a solar flare happened that was close to a, a Class M solar flare. <coughs> um, it wasn't directly, it wasn't even directly Earth-facing. Um, but yeah. That's what a solar flare is, and it, 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 it could still have effects on us. And these things move really fast. They're here in like 8.3 minutes, and it's basically what caused the earthquake the other day. Okay, it was like an hour after that we get this earthquake. So, this is what a solar flare looks like. Alright. <laughs> you often hear them called X flares. That's just a classification. That's a high classification, a very strong one. So this one was back in 2017, one of the big ones we had back then. Obviously, you see the you see the visible difference between that and that. Okay. But the main difference is this is the CMEs are carrying plasma, okay, into the solar wind and it gets shot out whatever direction it's getting shot out. We we're concerned when it's earth facing, right? So <clears throat> those are solar flares. That's basically radiation. Okay, this basic term. Okay, it travels at basically at the speed of light. That's why it gets here so fast. Um, these solar flares, uh, t 
typically, like I said, travel around the speed of light. They're 93 million, million miles away. Cause this, that's how far the sun is from us. So you can imagine how fast that is. 8.3 <laughs> minutes. So, and CMEs usually takes between two to four days to get here. Okay, it depends on how fast they're moving. Now, why do they move slower? Well, you know, this word right here, mass, okay, it's just slower. Basically, it weighs more. Um, I don't know how else to put it. I mean, it, it's not like you're picking something up and, and filling that weight. It's just mass, and it causes more, uh, basically, drag and friction and stuff when it travels through space. Okay, has a little has more mass than a than a uh, <coughs> solar flare. Anyway, so with that being said, um, what we got here? Yep, there's our solar flare. That's one of the Scott UFO pics he sent me. <laughs> um, I'll be talking about that later in in my next video. But um, yeah, guys. Um, so right now, you know that was we had the one the other day, and as we speak and which is why i'm doing this video this is what it looks like okay i was just getting ready to go to bed actually and i seen this so <coughs> what we're going to do is we're going to go over here to uh sdo because that's what we go because that's that would show us if it's earth facing right um so we'll do that real quick and again this is just going to be real quick and sweet guys i'm, I'm about done already so um this is the ISWA site, ISWA. And again, we're looking at SDO, the one that has the view from the Earth, perspective of the Earth, okay? It sits out in front of the Earth and looks at the sun. This, is, this information is not from Stereo A, which is basically off to the left. Okay, so when we see stuff on these, and, and I'll show you what I mean, it's not hard to see these this this is one of those things that is not hard to see um hit the movie button here now again this is the 304 angstrom and um, these show filaments really well those little stringy looking things of plasma that come off the sun sometimes um this 304 angstrom view shows that really well and i'll show you another one um in a different view too probably the teal or the purple or something here in a minute but um this one shows very detailed, not, well, I wouldn't say very, but it's more detailed than others, other angstroms when you're talking about looking at filaments. Now, <laughs> if you're just looking at disturbances and, and such, um, we're going to go ahead and look at this purple one because I noticed something on here that I hadn't noticed before, ever. <laughs> Now, I'm not saying this can't happen or hasn't happened. I just personally have not seen it. Um, that's where I'll leave that one, okay? Um, and what I'm saying is, basically, half of the sun, you could see it go dim when this happened. Okay? Now, again, you know, it's just in that angstrom. I'm not seeing it in the other angstroms. So, I don't, I don't know what the deal is with that, but... Um, while that's loading, I will um, we'll go down here and check out this one. Okay. Now keep in mind, this is Sunspot 2740. Okay, it's the one that was diminishing; it was getting weaker. Um, this is the one behind it, 2741. It's actually fairly big and pretty potent. But this one, the first one, 2740, is the one that's having having the reaction right now. Now, something else I want you to notice is over here, okay? When you see this flare happen, you're going to see a filament reach out way over here, okay? And it's at the exact same time, so it's definitely related, is what I'm saying, okay? So I'm just going to grab the slide bar. Yeah, you see that? I'm going to back it up. Now, again, watch this filament over here, plus that's this is where the solar flare slash CME, because I think it's both. All right, remember we just read those definitions, solar flare, and usually after a solar flare, you'll sometimes see a CME. 
And I think that's exactly what's going on here. And they're so close together, it's hard to say, hey, this is the solar flare and this is the CME just by looking at this capture. All right. But let's uh, grab this again. Again, I found it really interesting that it reaches out over here. Okay, watch. Okay, here it goes. Boom. See the filament on the right? You see that, how it's all happening at the same time? Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it back to here, and we're going to zoom in and just watch it for a second. See that? Boom. Okay. Now I can tell you this, that I am almost positive that that is Earth-facing. Okay. I can't say a hundred percent because I and the reason why I can't say a hundred percent is because well let's let's stop this for a second is because even though it came from this sunspot and we're looking dead at it right doesn't mean that it's coming straight at us it could be going up at an angle a little bit or down at an angle a little bit but judging by how this plume came off of this X off of this solar flare it looks like it's coming right at us um, we're just going to have to wait for some of the data to come in, I think. But, <clears throat> and what, and again, I'm going to, I'm going to fast forward this and so you guys can see this again. Um, and I'll, and I'll zoom in. Okay, watch the plume. See, it reached straight out. Look at that. And boom. Okay. When it, when it kind of exploded at the top, that's when it released the plasma, I think. Okay, that's what went up in the air like that. Usually if you see a flare, you just kind of see like an X. Okay, that's why those terms are cross-referenced with each other a lot. You're going to see like almost an X. You see this? Watch. Boom. See that X? And then that came on out. I think that had some plasma in it, which would make it a CME. And I really think that that's earth-facing, guys. Okay, so we're going to fill the effects. We probably already did fill the effects of the solar flare. Because by the time this even updates, that solar flare would have already reached here. Okay. Um, that's just how fast they move. Now, the CME part of it could take a couple days to get here. Okay. And just reference those two definitions I gave you, okay, um, whenever you're trying to figure that out. <coughs> and again, that filament on the right, that's that swings out right there really kind of blows my mind just watch right here when that flare erupts um it should erupt here any second but yeah just watch right there time frame okay it's about there we about got it so um okay watch over there See that? Okay. So that means the sun's reacting. Okay. And it doesn't just, it ain't just re reacting in one spot. Now this is the one where the sun, it kind of looked like half of the sun went about dark just for that one, one second. Um, didn't go all the way dark. It didn't look like, but it sure the heck was close. Okay. I'm going to back this up. <coughs> One thing you probably won't see very well is that filament over here because it's a different light angstrom. Okay, that's why the 304 is good to see the filaments. This one, you see, it's more dramatic on this on this particular angstrom. But watch this. See that erupt? Okay. Did it even go back far enough? Okay, maybe I wasn't back far enough. Huh. Yeah, this one don't show up very well. It's almost like it skipped. Did it skip? It sure did. There's 553. Okay. See it, see it erupting? Man, that's pretty good time distance between captures there. Let's go check out the teal one real quick, okay? Um, sorry, guys. I thought it would show you a little bit better there. 
maybe this is the one I'm talking about anyway. Um, shoot. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> what a man. Sometimes I, I'm tired, so sorry about that we will uh, look at this teal one because this does show us the best detailed view um scott uses this one a lot he up you know upgrades it to 4k um definition pause it and let's run that forward and again guys sorry about that i was just trying to get this out real quick before i go to bed um, I think it's important because I do think this is earth facing. Okay. It's not, it's not direct. I don't think because direct would kind of be right here, but pretty close. <laughs> so, you know, like I said, guys, the solar flare is radiation. Basically just think of it like that. It basically travels at the speed of light. CME is carrying uh, quite a bit of mass with it. Plasma. Okay, so it, it doesn't move as fast, but it still affects us very intensely and can really mess us up if it's a direct hit and it's a big one. Um, but this right here is most definitely action on this first sunspot. Okay, 2740. Okay, you see that? Boom. Okay, now what I want you guys to look at, and I'm going to zoom in, and I'm just going to let this play. But from about all this over here goes dim. Okay, I found that really interesting. Okay, did you see that little blink? Okay, I'm going to take it back to here. All right, now watch. Dim, see that? Bright, dim, bright, dim, okay? Now, I'm going to zoom in here, and I'm just going to let this thing play. I'm going to back it up a little bit, and we'll hit play, and uh, we'll watch it on this angstrom, okay? See that? I mean, man, it just looks like it's directly earth-facing, guys, so... Um, let's back it up again. Let you guys see it one more time. Zoom way in. Look at that. Boom. See how it reaches out and this releases stuff? Okay. The first part was a flare. Okay. That's why it looked like an X. The second part there where the big plume come busting up, that's the CME part, I think. And again, I think it's earth facing, guys. So, uh, Let's just pay attention to it here, guys, um, you know, and just be diligent. Just be aware, you know, if something's going on. I would look for probably earthquakes somewhere today. Um, that's just my opinion because I do think this is directly related to earthquakes here on, here on Earth, um, and a lot of us do believe that. But anyway, guys... Um, God bless, and I'll come back with another video. Um, go watch Scott's last live stream. He did some pretty good explaining on a lot of a lot of good stuff. He showed uh, on the sunspot situation, and he has a new theory he's working on um, with why we're even seeing this kind of stuff. Um, but yeah, look at that. So it's pretty intense. Um, so God bless. Yeshua saves, and uh, you can drink this Kool Aid.